In the summer nights, the waters of the Galithian coast sometimes show strange displays of bioluminescence that consist in the emission of light by living beings. If we could see the source of this light close enough, we should know that it is produced by unicellular algae that belong to the Dinoflagelletes group, many of them of the Noctiluca skintilans species. Inside each of those cells, there are lots of small vesicles containing a molecule that shines for a fraction of a second when oxidized. The coordinate illumination of all those vesicles within each cell, in many cells shining simultaneously, is the cause of the light that we can perceive. Being luminescent may have some obvious advantages for some larger organisms. But what is the possible adaptive meaning for the dinoflagelletes? To have a clue on that, we'd better have a look at their predators. Their predators are small animals integrated in the zooplankton, small crustacea, mainly copepods, whose bodies are transparent. When copepods feed on the luminescent algae, their bodies become illuminated as well because the cells and vesicles of Noctiluca keep shining inside. And to become as attractive as a neon light is not so convenient if you are placed in a lower step of the trophic chain. By illuminating its predators, these algae are turning them into living alarms calling for help. Dinoflagellates take advantage of being luminescent because in that way they increase the bright of their own predators, making them easily perceived by and therefore vulnerable to their own predators. Sorry pal, you've been selected against. These microorganisms are following an adaptive strategy that some scientists have called burglar alarms because the dinoflagellates are calling for the help of the predators of their own predators. By using bioluminescence, they are forcing their predators to pay a high evolutionary price, a price that likely they cannot afford to pay. I wanna die 